The war President Obama wanted so much to put behind him is coming back with a vengeance and demanding his attention. Tonight, two and a half years after the last U.S. troops left Iraq, the country is in danger of falling apart, and hundreds of Americans are being evacuated this evening. Government forces are battling militants who are taking back territory where thousands of American troops died, and they're vowing to march on to Baghdad. Mr. Obama said all options are open for helping the Iraqi government, but his spokesman said that does not include boots on the ground. We have a series of reports on this important breaking story. First, Holly Williams in Iraq. Thousands continue to flee the fighting, streaming across the desert to Iraqi Kurdistan, a region that enjoys relative peace. Amr Riyad Hussein told us he's a soldier in the Iraqi army who fought against the militants when they seized the city of Mosul on Tuesday. They're terrorists and I want to crush them, he said. But we couldn't resist them because our commanding officers abandoned us. Many others have told similar stories and these pictures show it happening. Iraqi soldiers, many dressed in civilian clothes, deserted the battlefield outside Kirkuk yesterday. Today, the Iraqi government hit back, launching airstrikes in the north. But on the ground, despite billions of dollars in American aid, Iraq's military seems unable or unwilling to take on the armed Islamic extremists. Many here resent the government in Baghdad because of religious differences. And most of the refugees we spoke to only had praise for the Islamic militants. Um Yusuf fled here with her family, but told us she likes the militants because they don't harm civilians. She left, she said, because she's worried that Iraq's government may try to recapture the city by shelling it. Scott, the militants have reached the outskirts of Samarra, which is just 80 miles north of Baghdad. Samarra is home to one of the holiest sites in Shia Islam, and there are fears this could reignite Iraq's deadly religious tensions. Holly Williams in northern Iraq for us tonight.